Today I'd like to show you the installation of the Lawrence Elite 4 uh, into the Slayer Propel 10. Or more specifically, uh, mounting the battery and mounting the transducer. Uh, so here I've got a 7.2 amp hour battery and I want to mount it in the front hatch of the Slayer. Um, and I've bought this little battery bag from JCAR. Uh, it was only 20 bucks, but uh, yeah, this one fits about a 7.2 amp hour battery in there perfectly. So it's got a little zip on it. It's even got a little, uh, little place to run the wires through. Um, so it's just perfect because I'll be able to put this strap around the inside. There's a bit of a, a framework in there and uh, I'll be able to strap the battery down and um, yeah, run the cables straight down to the battery. So yeah, here we go. Alrighty. So as you can see, inside the front hatch there, I've uh, installed the battery, all right, in that little J car mount. So I've just tied the, uh, the strapping around the back of that uh, bit of structure, whatever it is, in the molding inside. And uh, as you can see, yeah, it's sitting there. It's not going to move much at all. Um, and it's all wired up. So it's wired into the back of the Lowrance. Uh, the power's on. It's up and running. She's good to go. Uh, and the other thing you can see is that I've, ch I've chosen a uh, Railblazer mounting system um, to mount the, the Lowrance. Um, yeah, really versatile system. Um, you know, can hold sounders or rod holders or all sorts of things. You just can unclip it like that from the little star port there. And uh, yeah, you can even put in, you know, things like uh, camera booms, um, you know, whatever you need. So it's a really good system. All right, now for the transducer. So what I've done with the transducer, I've um, I've just taped it to a little bit of, uh, well, taped it to my tape measure, okay? Because I, what I want to do is mount the transducer down the back. So I've run that tape measure all the way back here, um, and yeah, because I actually want to pull the transducer through and mount it at the back here inside the hull. I reckon inside the hull is going to be uh, the best way to go. Y you know, I know Railblazer, they do some arms that hang off the side and you can, you can mount your transducer to there. But I figure if I can get it inside and get a good reading, um, then there's going to be no obstruction. It's not going to get in the way at all. So let's see how we go. Here we go. I've pulled my tape measure through. And there we go. I've got the transducer. All right, so I'm going to mount it inside there, um, believe it or not, with Bluetac. Okay, I'm going to give Bluetac a go. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work. As long as I squeeze all the air bubbles out of it, um, I'm just going to press it onto a clean surface inside the hull there, a uh, flat surface. I'm going to use a little bit of something to clean the hull first. Uh, a bit of shellite should do the trick, and just to make sure I get a good stick. And I'm going to make sure I wash my hands really well because blue tack doesn't work uh, if you've got dirty hands. And yeah, it should. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go anyway. Okay, I put my wad of blue tack in there. Uh, you can see it there. And so all I need to do is press the transducer into that wad of blue tack. Um, what I've also done is I've made up this little bit of wire. Uh, and I'm just going to, just to keep the transducer wire in place, I'm just going to push that into the foam block just to pin it to the wall um, so the cable isn't pulling on the, on the transducer so it doesn't come unstuck from the blue tack. And there you have it. I've just uh, pushed the transducer onto the blue tack there, making sure there's no air bubbles or gaps or anything. It's stuck pretty good. And there's a little bit of wire there. Um, which pinned the, the cable onto the side. So all I need to do now is go up to the front and tie off the mess. Um, yeah, I'll just 
tie all that up with a little tie there uh, just to make it nice and neat. There you go, the cable's tied nicely in place um, and as is the battery and it's ready to go. So the thing I like about this system is you can just unzip the top there and take the battery out for recharging whenever it goes flat. So it's really simple um, and then you can pop it back in again. The other thing I like uh, about this system is that everything's tied down securely because I want to be able to transport the kayak uh, on an angle sideways on the car. So you really need everything firm, firmly in place. Um, and what I'm going to be able to do is when it's time to go is simply just pull that one out, drop that in the hatch, put the lid on and away you go. The other thing I like about this system is that I didn't have to drill any holes in the kayak. So as you can see the cable just comes down and through the lid there. So, you know, I think that's a watertight enough seal. It's not going to get water in there if it rains or whatever. Um, and if a little bit does get in, it's no big deal. But, yeah, it didn't have to drill any holes. Um, it's just no fuss, you know. I like easy. So that was definitely easy. So now we're going to give it a test run out on the water, see how it all goes. So in my case, I do need to mount the kayaks on their side. So I do hope that the batteries and the transducers um, are mounted securely enough. So I guess we're going to find out. We'll go for a drive.